How's it going, people? It's Chris the Side Dragon here, and for this episode of The Very Treasure, we're going to be looking at M. This is uh, a game that's been out for a long, long time. Not M, but like, you know, the uh, the series. I remember the, I believe the original was this N, which is like a Newgrounds slash uh, Flash kind of game. And an M Plus was on. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. M Plus was on like a uh, rent, was on. Um, random platforms on like computer and I, I remember playing it on uh, Xbox, my Xbox uh, 360 I believe. Basically I just spent a ton of hours on it, playing the story mode and make my own levels. So I'm going to go through uh, the first few set of levels and show you off some levels that I made myself. Let's go to solo. So let's go to the intro and show off some of the initial levels so you can get an idea of the game and I'll show off my levels. Go. So this is a basic. Basically, just go from beginning to end kind of deal, and you collect these little orbs for time, and then and then make sure you just press the X button to get out. and then I'll show off my levels because those are going to take some time since they're actually a little hard. Alright. One of the concepts of the game that, that I love is like it's really minimalistic but at the same time it's uh, also just super fun and the controls are really tight and my favorite thing in my Xbox version was I love games where you can create your own levels and it's like just simple like this. Like uh other games you create your own levels, like sometimes like it'll just be a little bit uh it'll be a little um what's the wrong for it? A little uncomfortable because it's like there's a lot of like stuff you can do with it. Like I used to work on StarCraft levels, but I wouldn't do that for StarCraft too, because I just see that uh I see like there's just so much to do on there that it's just like it kind of overwhelms me, so I can't do it myself. But this one's like so minimalistic and stuff like that. It's like you know it's really more it's more fun and easy to make your own levels. So it's just pretty awesome. Okay, I guess. Oh wow, those are traps. Hello. Uh, yeah. Cool. All right, so now we got an idea of how the game is. Let's look at uh, let's look at the levels that I have created. So, uh, let's track made by me. But not tracked by me, made by me. Yeah, so I made a couple of uh, levels, and then this is I stopped because I, I my friend I have my friend uh Eric. You remember from my, if you watch my other videos, I have my friend Eric was playing them as well, and then uh, after a while, we just both stopped playing this, and you know so. Here is my first level that I made. Okay. Alright, so the first thing to tell you in this one that there's a trap right here. So don't open it, don't get both those. Oh, you're just getting stuck there. And up here. And there you go. All right. Let's see. So next, go to speeding. This one I had a lot of fun making. This one took a lot of practice to get there. Ooh, oh, I'm going too fast. 
Got my little head crushed. These speed cubes are one of the new additions they add to the game. They, these weren't in the original. And like when like when my yeah, I loved so when I first saw these speed cubes, they were one of the things I had to use. I was like, oh my god, these things are so cool. I have to use them. Okay, down here. Oh, dang it, went too fast again. All right, now the last part. This is the hardest part. Too fast, yeah. My trick is to use the uh, side there. There we go. So you please go over here first. <laughs> Went too fast. That hurt. There you go. Fine, fine, fine. Got it. Perfect. And then this is what my number series was when I was starting to make le uh, levels after numbers. So we can go through these next. Um, I love, this is one thing I love, that there's a really good community of people who make levels in here. Also, the only thing is also that I don't like is some people just make levels. It's kind of like Marvel can actually make levels hard to be hard. But there are also some really, really creative levels I've seen on here. So it's really cool. Uh, not too far. So it's like sometimes, like you know, uh, back in the day when I first played this, I used to spend a lot of times like browsing through people's levels to see uh, what, what stuff they made, and I saw some really interesting stuff. Like uh, somebody made like, a Pac-Man level; it was really fucking cool. Like they literally made a level like out of the first Pac-Man and some of that. Some people just like make really intricate. They're hard, but they're like fair. Like you, like, you just feel like, oh my god, if I was just like a little bit cool, better, I can do this. And there's some levels like you just gotta be really, really good at your control, which I am not. So, some I'm not good at. It's just, it's like it's it, it depends, but it's really fun though. Ah, uh, this one I was doing with, my, with, with Zach the other day, and I got stuck in this one for a while because it's actually pretty tough. Yeah, like these buffer guys are hard to get around. Like this was one of my most aggravating ones because it's like so short, but that's so hard. I know that's what he said. Got it. I get it. But still, it's just a really tough level. Last time I was trying to show it to Zach. I can actually go to 7 up. Okay, come on down. Yeah, look at me here. Uh, 
Can't touch this. Can't touch this. The last one. This one's all about patience, I remember. And since I'm not a patient person, this is why I usually have trouble with this one. Sometimes. Ooh! Wow! Right in the face. Come on, right in the kiss him. Come on, look at me here. There you go. I think I'd use those speed things to get up there. I think that's what I think that's my trick was. Nope, not that way. That didn't work out. Yep, oh, messed up. Ooh, that's close. Ah, oh, I thought I was gonna make it. I can do this! Oh, I made it! Yes! Woo! Got it. Nice! Cool. Nice to be the Temple of Six. Oh, this one! I remember this one. This one, I took a, it took me an hour to get this one done because there was a... There's, a, there's, some, there's one little thing I had to do. And my wife will, if, if my wife will always tell you that it was things that hurt. I got this level finished because there was one thing I had to do to get this level to get this level beatable. And it was so funny. Damn it! It's taking too long to get up there, so I don't think this is the right path I'm taking. So we have to get, I have to get, like, get to get there like right away. Oh wow! Can't say that one because. Yeah, can't do that one because that one hurts. Dang it, I was so close. I forgot I got moved, dang it, I was like, why is that going down? I forgot I got to jump off it so you can move again. There we go. I gotta make it up. I'm gonna to jump too high. That jump, I ain't gonna make it. Just gonna make it. I do make it. It has to be like a, a perfect movement because you're really super timed on this. Ah, that one box is getting in my way. Oops. Too far down. Radio, don't you 
Gotcha. Got it. Hello. You need to go away. All right. Got to this right. Go. Ah, oh, that was the one. I almost had it. No, that just got me. I'm not gonna make it. No, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> ah. I got this. I'm in. Oh, nope, I'm not. <laughs> that is what I got. Nashi, wait, wait, no, no, no. I'm not confident enough to do it. Yeah. So the trick is, you see that box I used to get up there? I used to have like a like a pixel or two higher, and I would never figure out how to get out. So my wife was like, maybe if you move that box down a little bit lower, you can use that speed thing to get it to like jump up higher. And then that's the, that was the key to winning the level. And my friend Eric, he never figured that out. Like he would always get up to that part where he gets to the, uh, the switch, but he can never get to the end. And he just like, this level's unbeatable. And I was like, I wouldn't be able to play it up if it wasn't if it was beatable. It was funny. The last one I had made was I got five on it. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Right here. This is the last one I made, so I haven't played, I haven't played this one as often. Let's get in there. Okay. Can't go that way. Nope, can't go in this way. Oh, you had to go to the top. I see now. I see what I was doing here. Take me a while to see what I was trying to my thought process was here. Come on. Come on, buddies. And you. Yep. Nope. Okay. I see what I was doing now. I think I see the pattern. Oh, buddy. So we go this way. Switch. Ah, damn it. I I like it now. That I get the I, now. That I get the design. I I, I understand what I was doing here. So here. Get running start. Here we go. Oh my god, I forgot to get the switch. God damn it, I'm an idiot. Just kill myself. I totally forgot to get the switch. Whoa! Chill out, guys. You don't want me. I'm all skin and ninja bones. Okay. Okay, let's get a running start. And yeah. Nope, not fast enough. speed thing to help you uh, get up there faster without fucking up. Alright, so I remember the trick here is that don't slide down this wall because those things will push you. But we don't want to go too far down because then we'll get killed. There we go. Then we gotta go over here. That's the matter getting back to the top again. Gotcha. Alrighty. And that's all levels I created so far. I was gonna make like a number four and stuff like that, but that was when we started like losing steam on the game. But um 
yeah, see, there's like tons of laws that people have made and stuff like that. Really, really cool stuff. I mean, I would, I, I would, I would highly recommend trying it out. Like, look at that. See, someone actually made one with just a headphone. That's freaking cool. That's really awesome that they did something like that. I can't see how you get past this though. Oh, actually, you gotta wait. Yeah, we click, I guess. Ah, uh, I see. You can use this to... Hmm, I see. Yeah, dude, it has to be like, it has to be one motion, that's really super fast. I see. Yeah. Rock! I think I passed this before. I thought it was like I had it on this wall. There you go, yeah. I thought it was like. Gotcha. Alright. Aw, oh, seriously? It came back. <laughs> but see, yeah, there's really cool things like that. Oh my goodness. It's like a Minesweeper game, so somebody made one where it's like you gotta find out which one has the mines and which one has the switch and stuff. See? That's that's interesting. But, so yeah, enough of that though, but see, that's it's, it's things like that. It's really, really intricate levels. People have, like, you no know, put time into it, stuff like that. Some people like make troll levels where it's like, there's like a lot of shit that can kill you, and you know, it's just annoying just to push you off. But it's still really fun. Like, I, like I said, definitely check this game out. So yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you uh, check the game out yourself, and I hope I have you create, create levels yourself. Uh, if you ever want to try my levels, you can always like uh, go on. Um, oh, I remember I played this one before. It's really cool. Um, if you ever want to try my levels yourself, when you can go on, you can look up. Um, you can search when you go on here. You can search and look just look for my name. Let's look up X, and it should give you all the levels that I have made, or not. What? That sucks. Oh well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Quest Tide Dragon signing off. See you guys in the next episode.